Mick Dizzle Gaming coming at you. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you're doing well today. Called Arms has become a fan favorite since it released in August of last year. Since they came out, we've actually gotten 13 of them in total. That includes the five regulars as well as the eight seasonal ones. So we've got to defend some pretty cool places like Coulter as well as defend against those damn cannons of Fort Mercer. There's still some really cool places in the Red Dead world that we haven't had called arms that we could see in the future. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the top 7 called arms maps that we need in Red Dead Online. Let me know in the comments below what called arms maps you would like to see or if you agree with my choices. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, welcome and subscribe and I will literally send you my 12 year old pug in the mail. He is yours. I'm just kidding, I love him very much, I'm not going to send him in the mail, but you will get the best of the best of Red Dead news, leaks, live streams, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. Let's get started, number 7, Van Horn. Van Horn on a good day is pretty wild, but for a called arms map it would be pretty great. The lighthouse is really interesting, it'd be really neat to have like a sniper up there, or perhaps you could go up there and snipe yourself. With Van Horn's exceptional history of violence, called arms would be perfect for it. The Gatling gun wagon coming down that main drag of Van Horn could be pretty ruthless, I bet. There could be some nautical element to it as well, like in Blackwater when they send the boats. Next one is Ansberg. Ansberg is always a good place for a shootout, as evidence in Chapter 6 of Story Mode, as well as the opportunity where you have to sneak into Ansberg and get the jewel, and often it leads to a little bit of craziness. Let's go help those coal miners! The next one is Sissica. You usually can't get on there online unless you get a little bit tricksy, although there is PvP modes there from time to time. I think there's a few cool ways this could work, one being outside the prison walls and one being inside the prison walls. Having enemies arrive by boat would be pretty cool, and some of the guard towers would be an optimal sniping spot. It's really a waste not to do much with that, as it's a pretty cool area. The next one sounds like a lot of fun. Gap Tooth Mines. Those guys are already grumpy enough when you bother them, but I think it'd be really cool to make a last stand in a mine with a shotgun and a bunch of explosives. It's a good time. What could go wrong, right? I think this is a cool location that would really need to be fleshed out by a lot of neat set pieces, however, because it is a little bit barren outside of it. The next one would be Fort Wallace. I know my favorite called arms out of the regular ones is definitely Fort Mercer. And I love the fort defense style called arms. It's wild, it's wacky, it's a little different than the town defense, although the end goal is still the same, to kill everybody. It would definitely have to include cannons. That's one of the things that makes Fort Mercer great. But give us some cannons too, that would be pretty awesome. But yes, I'm all about having another fort added. And number two, Saint Denis. Now Saint Denis is pretty damn expansive, so it would have to be restricted to a certain area. I personally think the downtown core or by the train station would be the ideal places. I mean, I've done some terrible things to the police of St. Denis, maybe we help them out a little bit, I guess. If held close to the train station, I think a train coming into St. Denis with a whole bunch of baddies would be pretty awesome. It'd be a good area for boats to come in as well. One honorable mention before we get to number one, and that is Tumbleweed. Within the last part of the prestigious bounty for Tumbleweed, we get a little taste about what called arms would be like there, perhaps that was a little test for it. But nothing would beat going through all ten waves with some cool set pieces and things going on there, that's for sure. It's built perfectly for it. Even if the whole town was included, it would still be a pretty small area in the big scheme of things, that's for sure. It would be even better if Sheriff Freeman stood side by side with us, that dude is a badass. Number one for me is Guarma. There are a couple great locations in Guarma for this, Cinco Torres being one of them, the beach, the town. There's a number of great places in Guarma that would be awesome for Call to Arms. It was pretty awesome in story mode when Arthur was at Cinco Torres using that cannon to take out that warship. Come on Rockstar, give us some of that action. Of course, I know Red Dead Online needs a lot more content than just Call to Arms, but it doesn't make me like them any less and I have a blast playing them with friends. It would be really cool to bring the seasonal ones back too once in a while. There you have it, the 7 Call to Arms maps that we need. But more importantly, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Well that's about all the time we have for today, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.